What's up everybody, Chris here with the Riding Dad channel. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today we're going to install a Two Brothers 2-in-1 two exhaust on my 2020 Softail Lowrider S. There's a couple things you're going to need besides kind of typical tools to install this exhaust. The first being a set of exhaust gaskets. The second being a fuel tuner. And the third being the exhaust. Alrighty, so right after this intro, let's tackle this exhaust install. Alrighty, so there's a couple different Two Brothers exhausts, and I want to start out by saying that Two Brothers exhausts are very hard to come by at the time of making this video. Uh, mine was back ordered twice from the dealership. I wound up canceling that because Revzilla had mine in stock. However, they had a bunch of other options out of stock and Get Lowered was out of stock of pretty much everything. Uh, JMP Cycles was out of stuff. Uh, just every set that I can think of. Dennis Kirk was out of all that stuff. For some reason, Two Brothers Exhausts are actually catching on in popularity with the Harley community. And I think that's because of two reasons. One, in the sport bike community, I think you either love Two Brothers or you hate Two Brothers. I personally love Two Brothers Exhaust. I had a uh, dual slip-on Two Brothers on my Hayabusa when I rode, and I think they sounded awesome. They had a very low, uh, very subtle kind of low rumble to them, but they also got fairly loud when you got up in the higher RPM range, and I understand part of that is the bike, but I think just the sound quality was very good of, uh, of the exhaust. And they're not incredibly expensive for what they are. Um, so that's one. I think they get a lot of negative from some people in the sport bike community. They're kind of thought as like um, just kind of too common, I guess, at this point now. And then in the Harley community, a lot of people that ride Harleys don't know anything about sport bikes because they don't have any involvement in that at all. So for them to hear two brothers, they're like, nah, you know, what do they know about Harley? Um, so I think that's part of why it took a while for them to catch on. And now people are starting to kind of see their value uh, for what they are. They have, they're very well known for fit and finish. They're a American made uh, product if that matters to you as well. So uh, I picked the Comp S exhaust. I was actually fortunate. I went to my local Harley and I heard three of the ones I was, I was choosing between. I knew I wanted two brothers because there was a couple other reasons I didn't want any other ones. But I was between the Megaphone, uh, the Megaphone Gen 2, and I'll put a picture over here, uh, in stainless. And then I was between the Comp S in stainless or black. This, what I got in black. And then their newer addition, as of this video, was the uh, Turnout, the TBR Turnout 2 into 1 uh, in black. So I heard all of them on an M8 Softail, which is what I have, all on 114s and... The Comp S had more of the sound that I was going for, and it had a, it wasn't aggressively loud at idle, but it had that low tone that I actually, I liked. Um, the exhaust, I'm getting it for a few reasons. One, I need new exhaust to put the saddlebags I want on it. Two, for performance, and then three, for, for looks, obviously, which a lot of people do. And this one, although it's not my favorite look out of all of them, I don't think, it produced for my taste the by far the best sound quality so let's unbox it all right yeah the bag and i did open it just to make sure i had the right stuff uh, when i got it so in the bag of parts some instructions and then the actual exhaust so let me take this out of the box i'll put it on the table and i'll talk about it all right so in that bag you have your clamps for your heat shield a little tool for the spring uh, spring we'll get all that you know into all that for the actual install and you have the actual bracket to hold on so but the main part of the pipes are the actual uh, muffler which God, this look I love the way that all black looks in the compass much better in person than it does in photos um, you have the front header the rear header and then you have the two heat shields the headers have the ports for the O2 sensors and I don't remember the size right now, but it does have the adapters to use the stock sensors, but these are cut out for the wideband O2 sensors. So if that's important to you, then you got this built in for this exhaust. And I will admit that it did come with some pretty cool stickers. I am a child when it comes to stickers and I like collecting stickers for, you know, brands that I actually like and I support and stuff. And I have a whole, you know, I have them all collected and uh, I put them on stuff. 
So I don't just like have a stack of stickers in a book. Um, but yeah, these are nice little touch, you know, and uh, actually speaking of which stickers, uh, the next video that you will see after this one, I got a ton of stickers from that company and it makes me really happy. So, all right, let's move this table out of the way. Let's bring you guys closer to the bike and let's start taking off the stock exhaust because that's step one.